All right, welcome back to LearnWire today, and we're going to be taking a second look at Balloonery. I've had my eye on this, and I've wanted to purchase it, and I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, I definitely wanted to get Adline or Balloonery. Um, these are the latest advertising softwares on AppSumo that make it easy to create ads and run ads on a third party platform. So you don't have to actually interact with Facebook or Google. Um, and Balloonery was just real. I remember my review probably a month ago um, or so, and it just seemed like it was very easy to use from what I remember, extremely easy to use. And they have a couple of different options. If you've ran into issues with running ads on Facebook, you know how strict it can be and um, how many you hear the stories, right? Of people getting their Facebook ads manager account banned uh, several, I mean, several times. It happens all the time, right? And it's really hard to, to get back on Facebook super uh interesting story i have is that i have a friend that's like um, a social worker and a counselor and he was running facebook ads for his uh, business and it was you know therapy type counseling related and he got his facebook ads account banned literally you know he wasn't promoting anything illegal it was completely legit and they, for whatever reason, they didn't even give him a um, good explanation and they banned his account. So needless to say, Balloonery solves that because if you go through this platform, you won't have to worry about that because you're using their, uh, they already have their own accounts. And so they're able to run them through them, but you are able to also hook your own ads account up if you wish to Balloonery and you will actually benefit from that because you'll have, be able to um, put your ads daily ad budget lower um, you'll have more control and so forth. So uh, there's advantages of doing that. So there's advantages to both, um, both sides, but uh, you have different codes you can stack. I'm going to, you know, I've really kind of looked at this. You can go and watch my first overview video uh, right now. They actually have Facebook, Google, Instagram. And if we go and I want to go open up their site real quick. Uh, build ads that take off, grow your business with the power of AI generated, generate and launch uh, online ads across multiple channels in minutes, get started for free. And then, you know, they'll tell you how it works. Uh, let Balloonery's AI uh, create the ads for you, which uh, if you read the, you know, this may, I'm going to suggest you're going to want to come at least with half of your ads that you created the images yourself and the text, because um, they still have a lot more uh, development and improvement that they need to make in order to get this step one to be really good. A lot of people are a little bit dissatisfied with step one, but still with everything else that they're doing, running the ads and all the ease of use, it's still definitely a great song software, um, adjust, customize to build your perfect ad. And then they also have auto, um, optimization for you as well. And then you launch, uh, get your forecast and launch with balloonery. Okay. So you can generate ads with one click, um, all this kind of good stuff. You can go read their page. Um, I want to see, let's see. Um, so if we come over here to what they have, Google ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and then it looks like they also have LinkedIn ads. I'm not seeing, um, they definitely are advertising that. So they must have LinkedIn ads as well. And they were, uh, I know that I asked a question at some point and they do have it on the roadmap. I'm not seeing a public roadmap um, over here. I would need to reach out to the creator, but I believe that, oh, here we go. Right down here at the bottom roadmap. Um, they were supposed to be adding YouTube as one of the, um, there we go. Video creatives right here. It's pl it's already planned video creatives. I don't know if that's YouTube ads or not. We have LinkedIn in progress. So maybe they're not fully launched with LinkedIn yet, but they, it is in progress. Compliance watchdog is going to be, they're going to have a, an algorithm that will catch, um, if you have banned products, you know, lose weight products. Um, a lot of those kind of supplemental products and financial type things um, that they'll have this compliance algorithm that will automatically catch that stuff to prevent you from putting out a, an ad that is going to basically get banned anyways. So that's really cool that they're, um, they're looking into that.
looks like they're going to add more payment currencies and so forth. And I'm not seeing where it actually says YouTube on here. I don't know if that's video creatives that might be right there, but there, um, when I did ask for that, uh, that question about YouTube, um, it, so they have TikTok. it's under review, any plans to add TikTok? So it's under review, retargeting campaigns under review. Um, they have Amazon ads and Bing and Twitter, all these that are being um, asked by the community. So I don't see anything about YouTube, but I'm hoping that they will do some type of YouTube ads or maybe you, um, you can uh, possibly because when you run Google ads, that's basically when you come over here, Google ads, um, you, you possibly will be able to run video ads through the Google uh, platform anyways. So needless to say, if you want to go pick this up, um, I'm going to go over to the plans and features you can read through all of what you get right here. If you use their account, right. And not your account, there will be, um, like a commission that they earn. Um, but that kind of makes sense in a way because that you're using their accounts, um, their seasoned accounts, and it gives you a way to get in and still run Facebook ads, even if you've had uh, one or multiple accounts banned at Facebook. Um, and so it, they'll handle all that for you. So you're almost like getting a software that also is kind of like your ads manager platform. So, um, you have to look at it that way. Um, and then it's 0% commission if you bring your own ad account. So it makes sense. Uh, that doesn't, that, that, um, kind of model doesn't bother me at all. There has to be some type of incentive for them to be, able, be using their own accounts. Um, let's see, it's GDR, GDPR compliance, stack up to five codes. And I'm looking at this and, you know, I, I kind of wanted to be able to run at least 50 ads at a time, which I don't even know how is realistic for me, but, um, I don't really know if I want to invest quite $207 into this over here. And I definitely don't want to build an ad agency. I don't have any plans in my business to do that, to run ads for anybody else. So I think right now I'm going to go ahead and buy the double at $138. It'll allow me to have 30 active ads and three brands. Uh, so I like this one. So I'm going to go and buy code two. We'll have another final look at this. I'll show you it. And then once I actually run my first ad campaign using balloon balloonery, then I'll make a follow up video for you guys, um, to show you kind of what the, what it looks like after you run an ad on balloonery. So you want to subscribe to learn wire. Uh, so you can uh, get that update video when I run a, an ad campaign with balloonery. So let me go buy this real quick and I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm back. I went ahead and decided to pick up uh, tier three, go back over here to balloonery. I went ahead and ordered a uh, tier three instead of tier two, because during checkout, I just had the, what is another 60 bucks? And I don't want to have to ever worry about not being able to, I don't want to be cut off right at 30 ads if I decide to go big and then also 10 brands, I could even, um, outsource. I mean, I could, um, actually take on a couple clients if I really wanted to. So tier three ends up being the winner for me with this uh, campaign, because at some point I do desire to get into, um, more paid ads and I just don't want to be limited on the amount because the strat strategies that I've learned is that you want to actually get at least 50 ads going to one product. Yes, that sounds like a lot, but you want to run like 50 um, ads, different images and text, everything. Um, so then you can start going in and actually getting rid of the ones that are performing bad and replacing them. And you just completely maximize your coverage when you have that many ads running. So uh, that's why um, I made the justification to go ahead and get tier three and get the unlimited ads. Okay. So we're back over here. I just put one of my websites in here. Here's what we learned about your business. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to say confirm. So we're in balloonery, which platform is uh, for you. So we could go with Google, we could go with Facebook, Instagram, and they do have LinkedIn as a business model, especially if you are offering services or something like that, uh, then maybe LinkedIn would be a good one to go with. Um, we have Google and Facebook over here. Um, I think I'm going to go with um, Facebook for now. Facebook ads next. And this is what Balloonery looks like. It's they've made it just a really simple platform. I mean, almost <laughs> it's almost mind blowing how simple they've actually made it. Even the interface is just like child's play. Um, but I think that that's what that is obviously what they're going for. They're going for trying to make the easiest way to get an ad up on these platforms. 
All right, so right now it's doing the uh, generating AI suggestions. We'll see what it comes up with. I remember when I did my first review a month ago, it didn't really also like the suggestions, but you have, uh, you can pick your message, build, add creative, pick headline, right? So we're gonna click on this, pick a message, how to make money online from someone who actually does. Now this is probably not the best example because um, all these ads, if I wanna run ads to this site, I'm gonna to have to do it in a clever way. I'm not gonna be able to do headlines like this, how to make money online from someone who actually does because uh, it's gonna get, it's not gonna go, it's not gonna get approved with Facebook, right? And it probably won't get a, approved on uh, Google as well. So you're gonna, we're gonna to have to probably come up with our own ads um, right here, but just for the sake of like, just you know, pretend this is another website. I should, probably should have used a different, well, I have a weight loss site too. And they're, that's one of the other um, most strictest uh, niches that you can go uh, run ads for as well. So, um, but, but we'll just use this for the sake of, you know, an example, but you know, I have a lot of articles on here. That's not necessarily, you know, blatant, uh, in your face, how to make money online. You know, I have a lot of different, we answer a lot of different questions and things like that on the site. This one would be pretty good. And then we would just say, we wouldn't say make money online tips from a successful online entrepreneur. That is perfect right there. We would literally just get rid of the make money online tips from a successful online entrepreneur. Um, that sounds good to me. I think that that would probably pass. And then that right there, so the design, build the ad creative. So we can click on design. This is where we're gonna go and find all these different images from the site get pulled in, which is cool. And then it's gonna come in. Here's all the AI suggestions over here. Um, this is, again, is, I, I think that this happened last time too. I don't know why it's suggesting the same. They must not have this connected to a massive amount of images because money should be a pretty easy, is easy one if you're using Pexels, Pixabay. Um, unsplash all those, but it's suggesting the same image. And I don't want to just be blatant about putting hundred dollar bills right there or anything like that. So, um, and I'm not seeing where we're going to, where we can actually do a search. Okay. So here we go. Search on unsplash. There we go. So I'm going to search for success. And these are the kind of uh, images that we would want to go with. We'll go with this one. It looks pretty cool. And next. So this is the part that I like though. I mean, we're able to just grab those real fast, those images, no, uh, no problem. I just want the image only. I don't want text. So I actually want to move over to this one right over here. Oh, uh, you get to pick your layout. That's really cool. Depending on the image, this one would block the main part of the image, which is the person that's, you know, excited and putting their fist in the air. Um, so we're going to go with that one right there and just push next. Uh, are we good to go? Use this design. Yes, they do have an advanced editor as well. So um, we have our ad right there and then locations. I'm going to go ahead and set up locations. Let's go with United States. Let's go with Canada. Let's go with um, Australia. And let's see if they have, if you can search in here like New Zealand. Do they have New Zealand in here? Yes, they do. Okay, so they have everything in here. That's great. We'll go with New Zealand. We'll just go with that for now. And then interests right over here. Let's just say, so it didn't auto suggest any for there. So let's just say, um, we'll go with entrepreneur. So entrepreneurship right there. Um, you, do you have to click the arrow or does it? Okay. So it added it. Okay. So this is really cool. So as you can see the layout, this is just super easy to use. And if you ever done, ran uh, Facebook ads and gone into the ads manager, even just signing up for an account, uh, can be intimidating. And then it's just, it can be completely overwhelming. So they've just made this process super, super easy. Of course, if you want to get into advanced targeting and all that stuff, then this tool wouldn't be for you. This is, this isn't going to be for people that want to spend, you know, an hours setting up an ad campaign to get it zeroed in perfect and have full, um, fine tuning control. That's not what, uh, Bloonery is trying to do for us. And that's not what they're, what they're about. They, this allows us to go out and target specific locations and interests and demographics. They do have all the surface level stuff you're able to do very quickly. And that's what I like about Bloonery. So we're going to come over here. I'm actually going to get this one ready to go. Then I'm actually going to probably follow through with running the ad actually to, just to see how it all works. Let's keep going through here. 
it has 420 million um, right there just from entrepreneurship. So I think that we can actually leave, literally just leave that the way where it is. And this would be an ad that I'm can measure that it's you know about entrepreneurship. Um, and that's where maybe you'd want to run, run 10 to 20 ads just to, with that interest and then maybe run 10 or 20 and switch the, um, the interest to uh, only switch the interest, but maybe run the same ads, right. Or run the same images as well. So here we go with budget. Now I haven't gone over to, um, my account to set up, um, to set up my own ads account. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try balloonery uh, this time. So we have a one-off, uh, payment or we can go monthly. We can take this down so the, that's the that's the lowest that you're going to get so you can go to a monthly and all the way down to a hundred so this is for the entire month you can run this campaign for an entire month at a hundred dollars um, which would basically be what a um, hundred dollars divided by 30 days in the month so you're running about three dollars and 30 cents uh, a day not bad at all but the difference is is that if you want to run more this is only one ad right guys so if you do this method and you run 10 ads you're going to be at a thousand dollars a month so that's where setting up your own account is going to come in where they're going to allow you to dial in um, and not have to run a hundred dollars a month per ad if that makes sense and then uh, once you select that, let's say that's what we're going to go with. It's uh, estimating that we're going to bring in 2,300 clicks right there. And then um, your expert checks on your ad. Um, they're going to do run that. And that is our ad experts will look over your ad when you launch to check the spelling, grammar, quality, policy, and targeting. And they're going to go ahead and alert you if your ad is not going to going to comply with what Facebook says anyways. And they're going to, so this is also another layer of um, just not having to run an ad or wait 24 to 48 hours for you to basically Facebook to say that, yeah, your ad wasn't approved or things like that. And then risk getting your account shut down. So um, this will still work really well for people that don't have uh, Facebook ads accounts. Safety net protects your budget. Um, the safety net feature will protect your ads from spending more than 50% of their budget if they perform below expectations. So it's going to automatically shut off if your ad is not performing. Continuous optimization of your ad. Balloonery checks and tweaks your ad for optimal performance every step of the way. Proceed to payment. But one thing that I'm wondering here is... Um, it didn't really ask us what our goal is, right? We're just running it, learn more. Um, I guess we, oh, so we can change the learn more button right here. And let's just say if it's a download, but you're going to need to make sure that the, the actual site that we're sending them to um, is like right now we're sending them right to the home page, right? Um, right here. Oh, I needed a headline. So you would put a headline right there. But um, I'm not seeing where we control the control the actual page. But nonetheless, I'll figure that part out. So um, this is where you would just go proceed to payment. I'll click on that. Um, oh, it's going to tell us sponsored um, Balloonery's Facebook page or your own. So this is where you're going to choose your own business or their page right over here. Perfect. It is going to say Balloonery ads. Um, right here but if you select down here it's going to be your own you're gonna have to um you're gonna select that right and proceed to payment choose an ad account for your facebook ads you can use their account or you can bring your own ads account right there okay so this is balloonery i'm gonna run some ads i'll do an update video make sure to subscribe so you'll get that video when i come out with it I'm going to figure out a good offer and then run some ads to that. So I went ahead and picked up the tier three at $207. This is balloonery. It's leaving. I made this video because it's actually leaving in three days, right? I don't know if they're going to come back. Um, I wouldn't, I don't bet on, um, on the applications to come back to AppSumo. So if you have an interest in running ads and you need a third party platform to do it for you, then this one is going to be as easy as it gets. And this offer goes away in three days. So um, I went and picked it up, wanted to make a, another follow-up video for you guys. So I'll at least make one more video on Balloonery when I start running ads. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out. And I'll see you in the next video.